Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Otter, and we today we are starting Farm Sim 19. Uh, it's going to be a nice casual series, and we're going to have lots of fun learning, relearning the game for me. And uh, we are going to be relearning on Goldcrest Valley, which is a mod map um, that somebody has made. This is a default map in Farm Sim 17. And they've just added it into uh, 19 as well. So we're going to get started. We have uh, no money, or I'm sorry, we have lots of money. We have one and a quarter million dollars, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, but we don't have any land. We don't have any equipment. We have to buy everything and get everything started uh, from scratch, essentially. So let's go ahead and read this here. He says, you have enough money to start the farming business of your dreams what will what will your specialty be arable farming breeding livestock forestry or a bit of everything the choice is yours first buy some land buildings and the necessary tools then sell your products and expand your farm okay so let's go ahead and check out the map this is um the map here you can see we're right here this blinking circle is if you guys can see that uh, we'll jump into the land section here, and these are all of the different plots of land. Now, one thing that's different is if we were to buy field 15, we would not get any of the property around it. So we need to buy the farm, which doesn't come with the field. So, so we're kind of have we have to buy both essentially. So let's go ahead and purchase the. Uh, land. Let's go ahead and buy that. And let's go ahead and buy field 15. And let's go ahead and let's see here. Let's buy field 12. This is uh, it's a good size field right here. And um, before we buy field 14 for $38,000. Let's see what's in it. Uh, it looks like there is cotton planted in it. So I'm not a big fan of cotton. It's kind of expensive. I mean, it's worth a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. It's just expensive to, to get. So what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to go ahead and buy it. We'll buy the field. And then we'll just plow it up. Um, so there. So now we have three fields and a little bit of land to our name. And now uh, we're just at above a million dollars. That wasn't too expensive. So now we can buy some equipment. All right. So in order to get started, we need a few things. We need a tractor. We need a couple of tractors. Uh, we need a couple of trailers. We need uh, a plow. So on and so forth so let's go ahead and get started let's start in the small tractor section uh, i want um at least 150 horsepower and i say at least 150 horsepower um and i'll explain why it in just a bit uh let's take a look at this fent uh 300 vario uh right now the base model is only 110 but we can change the engine in it uh, to get us to 138, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, you know what? I think that might actually be close enough. Um, we do want, also we want the front loader attachment so that we can use um, forks and scoops or buckets. So this, just this tractor alone is $126,000. Let's go ahead and purchase that. It is now at the store, which we'll get to in just a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and back up. Let's get another one. Um, but let's get um, let's get this Massey, maybe. Um, let's see here. Uh, so this Massey Ferguson MF fifty six hundred uh, or fifty six thirteen actually. Uh, has 130 horsepower. That, that's not too bad. 
Um, that might be close enough. We're gonna we are gonna add the front loader attachment. Um, do we want the standard wheels, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires and weights, or and narrow tires? Uh, you know what? We'll just go with the standard tires. One hundred and two thousand dollars. That's not bad. Buy, please. All right. Uh, so that's two tractors. Let's see here. That might not be enough. You know what? If it's not, we'll come back and uh, get another. All right, so trailers. We need a couple of tra We need at least two, one trailer. Um, and I really like uh, this agro liner right here. Uh, it's 20, where was it? 21,000 liter capacity, which is plenty big. And it doesn't have the rotating axle um, like this one does. I don't really like that. They're really difficult for me to back up. So we're going to go with this agro liner here. Uh, we're going to leave it green. We're going to leave the stickers and decals on it white. Uh, we're going to leave the Trelleborg wheels on there. That's fine. I'm, I'm not too concerned with it. Go ahead and purchase that. All right. So there's a trailer. Let's go ahead and let's see here. What else do we need? We need um a, we need a plow. Let's go ahead and so this is two meters wide. It shows you right here uh, how wide the, the plow is. 2.5 meters. 4.9 meters, that's that's pretty wide. Um, also, if you look down here, it tells you that they recommend at least, for this blue one anyway, four or 300 horsepower. Um, here's one that's 150, and this one's 85. So you know what, let's go ahead and get this one. Uh, it's a, they recommend 150 horsepower, but I think we can get away with 130. Um, let's go ahead and customize it. Uh, do we want universal mold boards or do we want slatted mold boards? You know, I, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with universal because I don't want to spend the extra two grand on it for essentially nothing. Mm, excuse me. Um, cedars. Let's go ahead and see what kind of seating implements we can get here. Uh, this is the Amazon which I believe is the uh, farm sim brand in the game. Uh, let's see here. That's that's not very wide. Well, it's three meters, actually. That's, that's pretty good. And it can plant all of these different types of crops. Wheat, barley, um, oats, soybean. I forget what this one is. Um, so this one is also three meters wide. Can do the exact same thing. It can handle uh, 2,800 liters of seed. This one is 1,000 liters. Um, our fields are actually kind of small. So let's go ahead and pick up this one here. Um, it doesn't have to be. I mean, it's three meters wide. That that's, should be plenty big for what we need now. All right. Uh, let's go back, and that's it for cedars. Um, we also have these types of planters up here. There's the, another Amazon one right there. Uh, this one's three meters wide. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, uh, that one looks all super fancy, doesn't it? Uh, let's go back because it can uh, seed and fertilize, I believe. All right. Um, crop protection. Uh, let's get some for, uh, fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer spreaders improve the harvest of your yield of your fields. That one just slaps on the back of a tractor and spreads it as it drives back and forth. It's, it'll spread up to 24 meters wide. Let's go ahead and purchase that. All right. Um, let's see here. We also need 
Um, inside this bailing technology is one of the mods that I also downloaded. And it is this lizard flatbed trailer. Um, actually, you know what? I don't want that. Not right now. Because, um, I will get to that in just a second. I don't think that we need, um, oh, we do need, we need a front loader. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're just going to get a, a plain black stole front loader. And back. And let's get a, a pallet fork. Uh, for picking up pallets and um, I think there's I think there's a bailing fork yeah a bail spike which we will eventually get just not right now um, and I think that might be it oh we need a couple of weights because you need to weight down the back of your tractor if you have something heavy on the front and vice versa so let's go about was it 700 kilograms that should be this is a thousand 700 kilograms should be fine. All right, we're only going to do one. All right. So now we're going to do a couple placeables on our farm. First is going to be um, this large grain silo. And now it's $90,000 more expensive than this regular grain silo. And let me explain why I'm getting this one. This large grain silo can hold 200,000 liters, which is a lot. This one can hold 100,000, and it's 110. And this one here, this extension, can hold another 100,000 for 90,000. So you add those up, that's $200,000 for 200,000 liters, or I can just spend 180,000. So that's what we're going to do. Um, now we just need to find a good place to put this on our farm. And I think that this spot right here is pretty decent. Uh, actually, um, no, let's spin it this way and let's place it here. Um... I want to place it in a spot because this pipe that's on the um, side facing us now is where it unloads into our trailer when we want to go sell it. Um, so maybe, do I just, uh, do I not own this? Ooh, I could put it there. No, that's kind of in the way of that field there. Though. Um... You know what? Let's go ahead and spin this back around. Spin it around this way, actually. Because that will give us a little bit of a driveway on one side for unloading and a driveway or a path on this side for loading. There we go. Um, all right. And there's that. And then we also want to purchase... Um, Here, uh, not this one. I believe is it under miscellaneous. Yes. Okay. So this is also another mod that uh, I really like, and what this allows me to do is buy seed directly from the silo and place it. You know, I could just drive my cedar run underneath it, fill it from there. I pay for it right there. And then that's it. I don't have to worry about bags and uh, pallets and stuff like that. So let's get let's go ahead and, and load this up. This one's going to be uh, we're going to put this one uh, right here, I think, or maybe I could put it. No, because I want to put a shed right there. Um, shoot. 
What's a good, where's a good spot for this? You know what, I could put it right here. Uh, just like this, we'll just go ahead and, there. There we go, and I'm not gonna work, oh, you know what, let's grab the fertilizer one too. We have the, have the money with us. And then, I zoomed in a lot faster than I was expecting. There we go. And then we can just put the fertilizer right there. And now we'll worry about sheds. So now we're we're down to $526,000. So yeah, the money can go quick if you're not paying attention. Uh, let's grab this easy shed here. Uh, this one is going to go here. And I think that is going to be it for now. Um, that's just a decorative object. Uh, let's, a vehicle workshop. Do I want a vehicle workshop? This is where we can um, customize our, instead of taking it all the way over by the store, we can customize it right here on the farm. Um, no, let's not get that right now, but we definitely want a pressure washer, uh, to help keep our, our implements looking clean. Go ahead and spin it around. We'll go ahead and place it right there. There. So now we have, we have our farm. We have a little place to store stuff out of the weather we, uh, pressure wash our vehicles come over here pick up seed pick up fertilizer drop off crop and load up crop to take to the cell points so there we go that's uh that was pretty good start let's go ahead and jump over to our trackers and we will go ahead and get started on moving all of this equipment over to the farm first things first though we do have to uh, attach everything Go ahead and go ahead and do a quick attach there. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab the weight. We're gonna put it on the front. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the trailer. Did I not get a plow? I thought I did. Oh. All right, well. Here we go, let's go ahead and what I'll do is I'll drive back to the farm and purchase a plow and then drive back, pick up a couple things, and then, uh, yeah, we should be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on a time lapse now, and uh, I'll be right with you.
now we have all of our purchased equipment at home everything is good but uh let's go ahead and check something real quick let's check our fields uh, like i said we have 14 12 14 and 15 and let's see what is going on with them so they are still all growing right now or they're still in the growth stage um let's go ahead and so this one it needs to be plowed we're going to plow that up uh everything is fertilized it's great and we have in this field we have barley and we have excuse me canola and we have cotton Again, we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that cotton so that we can plant something else. Um, but one of the things that I neglected to purchase was an implement to get all of that equipment or all that product out of the fields. We need a harvester. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get one that's a little, uh, this is the norm, the one that I usually get. Uh, New Holland, it's really good. It has a 5,600 liter capacity, which is pretty big. Um, but I think for this one, I'm going to go with the Rostelmash Nova 330. Um, it can do everything that we need it to. Uh, sunflowers and corn, as long as we have the right header on it. So we'll have to get the... Uh, the PS500 header will do all of the other crops, and then the, I believe the corn churn or corn CH will be the corn and um, sunflower. So let's go ahead and purchase this one. Uh, looks good. I like that. I really do. Rostle Mash Nova 330. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase that. All right, and now we need to get the header for it, which is the PowerStream 500, goes on the Nova 330, and it will harvest wheat, barley, um, canola, oats, and soybeans, which is what we need. So let's go ahead and purchase this. It's a pretty good size header. Um, five meters wide. Um, so we might actually need, let's go ahead and purchase that. Um, so let's go ahead and tab over to the header or the, um, harvester here. And let's see, uh, how wide it is compared here. Um, Actually, let's do this. Let me look at, because I know how wide this one is. This one's four meters. This one's five. Uh, you know what? We should be fine. Let's go ahead, jump into the in-cab camera. Get close to it. Quick attach. There we go. And let's go ahead and... Uh, drive to the fields or drive to our farm and while we're doing that we'll go ahead and uh, talk about what is what are some things that I'm going to change about the default settings and the plan for the series so let's talk about the plan real quick um, I don't necessarily have a long-term plan I have a goal in mind um, one of the achievements that I have yet to get in this is having $10 million in the bank. I think that's a pretty decent goal to achieve for. So that is what this series is going to be about, is trying to get to that uh, $10 million. Now, I do not expect to take, you know... 10 episodes to do it. It's going to be a, a pretty lengthy um, series. Uh, my goal is to do two at least two episodes a week, possibly more. It just depends on how long it takes me to uh, edit these down. 
Um, so yeah, just, you know, while I'm talking about it, if you want to see more of my foray into Farm Sim 19, a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get over into this lane, let this joker buy, uh, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like the content, and leave me a comment down below if uh, you think uh, I'm doing something wrong, or if I'm doing something right as well. Uh, so that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's go into the settings real quick. Um, one of the things, I will not have the radio on just for obvious copyright music. Um, we are in US dollars, in miles, and acres. And let's see here. Let's go into this. Helper refill. I will be utilizing helpers, even though they are kind of garbage. Uh, I find myself needing to uh, use them. Uh, I'm going to turn lime off because I don't want to have to put down lime. It's just, you know, more. I will keep periodic plowing and I'm going to turn weeds off. Okay, so let's go back to helper refill. Helper refill fuel, seed, fertilizer, slurry, and manure. Basically, if those options are on and you are having a helper or one of your helpers is seeding a field, they will automatically purchase more seed for you. I do not want that. I just want them to use up what I have, what I've already purchased. If I need to purchase more, I'll purchase more. Um, same with fuel and manure and slurry and all that. Uh, we will also be getting into um, animals I have some, I, I want to do some work on, work with cows and sheep, maybe not pigs, or maybe just sheep and pigs, maybe not cows. I'm only going to do probably two, um, possibly chickens, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but if you would like to see any of those animals, uh, leave me a comment down below, and uh, I'll, if, if it's something you guys want to see, then I'll, I'll definitely do it. Um, so let's also talk about the traffic. Currently there is traffic in the game as you've seen other, you know, cars driving down the road. They are, the, a the traffic AI in this game is absolutely dumb. Um, and I do not like it. So, I think I'm going to turn that off just it, the, the downside is making the world feel less lived in, but at the cost of being less stressed about, you know, I'm trying to, you know, drive down the road, people are bumping into me or not letting me turn because they've stopped at a weird spot, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off and call that good. So we are now back at the farm, and I think this is going to be a going to be a good spot to end the episode. Uh, once again, thank you guys for coming by and hanging out. I do appreciate it. Like, like button, subscribe button, and the comment section is down below. You guys uh, know what to do. If you like it, hit that hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, hitting that thumbs up on especially the first series, the first episode of a series really helps out. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. And with that, our combine harvester is home. It is ready for work. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. You have a good one. I'll talk to you later.